In this video, we will look into how to install Tailwind CSS right inside our React project. And for this, we will make use of Beat for creating our React project. And if you wonder how to create your React project with the help of Beat, then you can click the card at the top where we have already made a separate video tutorial regarding the same. Well, in this video, we will make use of Tailwind framework guidelines for Beat for installing the same in our React project. Therefore, without any further ado, let's get started. The first thing would be creating our React project with the help of Beat. And for doing so, we will make use of the command which is npm create Beat at latest. You can just hit enter and it is going to ask you for the project name. You can give any name you want. By default, it is given as Beat hyphen project. Let me give it as my app for example. And here you need to select the framework. Let me go with React. And I am working with the TypeScript variant. Now we have successfully created our React project. Let's try opening it. Here we have the React project up and ready. Let's first install the dependencies. Let me run npm i. After installing the node modules, let's try running our React project. And to run your React project, you need to type in the command npm run dev. We can follow along with this link. And here you can see that our React Beat project is up and running. Now let's try installing Tailwind CSS to it. And to do so, let's head over to tailwindcss.com. And here inside Tailwind CSS, let's click the docs. And the first thing would be the installation where it specifies how to get started with Tailwind CSS. And under the installation, you can click the framework guides. And as you scroll down, you will notice that we have the Beat listed down here. You can just click that. And this process is going to be very simple. With just 4 to 5 simple steps, you will be able to install Tailwind CSS right inside your React project. The first would be creating your React project, which we have already done. So let's skip to the second step, where we need to run these two commands in our terminal. So let's copy this, head over to our VS code. And here inside our terminal, let's paste that command. Let's copy the second command as well. Head over to the VS code and run it. And if you pay attention, you will notice that we have a new file called tailwindconfig.js being created here. And this is basically going to hold the basic configuration of the Tailwind CSS. Followed by the second step, the third would be updating the tailwind config.js file which was just now created so you just need to update the content you can copy this head over to tailwind config.js file and replace this empty content with this value wherein we specify in which files and folders we need to have this tailwind css being applied all the folders and files inside the source folder containing the extensions js ts jxs or tss needs to make use of the Tailwind CSS configurations. So that is what we have specified over here. Following which, the first step would be updating the index.css file where we make use of the Tailwind directives and specify each and every Tailwind layer that we are going to use. So at Tailwind is nothing but the directive and this base component and utilities are nothing but the Tailwind's layers. So let's copy this. Head over to our code and inside the source we have the index.css file. Let's select this and replace that with this Tailwind directives. Following which the last and final step is going to be running our react project. You can make use of this command npm run dev. So let's clear the console. Yeah. And if you now head back to our code and refresh this, you will see that the basic CSS which was being applied earlier in the index.css was completely replaced with the Tailwind CSS directives. And as of now, 
we won't be able to easily visualize the Tailwind CSS which is being applied over here. And to check whether the Tailwind CSS has been correctly installed in our React project, let's try to update the code. Hence, inside our VS code, inside the app.tss, first let's get rid of this entire thing. Let's make use of the shortcut key, React functional arrow component export, wherein let's type in a simple text value saying hello world. We aren't applying any CSS for this. And if you head over to your browser, you will notice that a plain text being displayed here. And let's try applying some stylings with the help of Tailwind CSS for this paragraph tag. And to do so, let's make use of the class name and inside which for this hello world text, let me increase the font size to some values. Let's just type in text-5xl and you will see that the font size is being actually increased. Let me also specify some color for this text. Text hyphen red and specify it as red hyphen 500, which is going to be an intense red color. Following the color, let me specify that to be bold. For that, we make use of the font hyphen bold. And if you head over to your browser, you will notice that these stylings which we have specified is being applied directly to the text element, which means that our react project is able to read the tailwind css and is able to render the same in our browser as well so with this we can conclude that the tailwind css has been correctly installed in our react project there is actually a lot more things you can do with the help of tailwind css so if you want me to make complete video tutorial regarding the tailwind css let me know them in the comments below and for more such awesome react tutorials consider subscribing to my youtube channel and i will see you again in the next one